Every time we subdivide model, whether you're creating new subdivision level or just using dynamic subdivision, it causes every edge to become rounded. But if you want some edges to stay sharp, you can use creasing. This can create even more variation and visual interest in your models without having to actually make them more complex. So let's see how. So we have this demo soldier loaded up. And this is the same one that I used in the last lesson. You can find this in the link in the description below. The one that we have over here is the uh, high polygon. Either you can go there, remove all the subdivision level over there, or you can download this one, which is inside my uh, link in the description below. Now, let's go to its shoulder guard and select it, Alt, and click on it. So, soldier guard is activated. And I want to give it a dynamic subdivision here I will just press D over here and as I chose to not to pop up the menu so it didn't pop up any menu over here it directly moved it uh, moved me to this part okay now I want to turn on the crease I want some uh, sharper detail over here let me just increase uh, smoothness subdivision level a little bit more and you can see it's fairly uh, like smooth from all the way around but i i want some kind of a crease or sharpness on the edge of the shoulder guard so it will uh, not look too organic i want some uh, sharper details so it will look half geometrical and half organic so what i can do here is that i can actually turn on the automated crease on this one so in your geometry we'll see there is a crease option down here now this crease option there uh, it works with the tolerance okay now you can see there is a tolerance here which is set up to 180 degrees so anytime we crease with this any edge would have an angle of 180 degrees that's pretty much extreme and i think it's very high but we can probably bring this down to something like lower maybe 60 so i can type here 60 so it will be a little lower so it won't make it uh too high so this um, maybe even uh, make the creasing a little bit uh, smaller here. And let's see what happens. Let me press Control, sh uh, sorry, Shift F so you can see uh, how we are getting this uh, decreasing here. So let me press the crease button. And as soon I will press the crease button here, you can see that some sort of a creasing happening here on this side. Let me undo and show you. Let me first turn off my wireframe here and show you without the wireframe and let me zoom in to this side. So notice what happens on this edge here. So if I press the crease button, you can see this edge becomes sharper, more like a hard surface. So this is actually what I want. And if I will turn this value as it was before 180 and see what will happen to the result. And now if I will press the crease here, okay, so you can see nothing is happening here. So if I will go to 60 and press crease, so you can see I have a result. Now if I will go more lower, like suppose 10 and then press crease, so you can see it is becoming more and more sharper. So 60 basically, I believe for me, it's a nice value, okay. So let me undo and then crease it back again. So 60 is quite giving me a very nice result over here. Now, let me turn off this by uncrease it. So if I will press uncrease over here, what it will do is that whatever is creased will get uncreased. Okay. So let me press this one. I, let me turn on, uh, turn this. I think because already have applied twice here. So let me undo that part. Okay. Yeah. Now if it is creased here, now if I'll increase it, so you can see that it is going to do that. But actually, what I have done in here is that I have applied it twice. So that's why it is not doing it. 
but anyhow you can undo as well and if you do if you want to increase any pre-existing crease you have to press increase but as i don't have any pre-existing crease that's why it is not doing anything i am creasing it with this option so to increase this option you just have to undo it but if you have pre-existing crease that was here for example you have used the Steve modular brush then you can just pre uh, press increase here so that it so it will increase that one okay here is crease all so what it will do is that it will give you a crease level of 15 here so if i will press you can see every other uh, polygon face is now creased which actually you don't want uh, at uh, you know certain level so let's uh, do that now what if i want to add crease but manually to do that i will uh, first of all let me uh, press shift f so i can see my wireframe here so i would go to my uh, z modeler brush over here b z and m and i will get my z modeler brush here so here i have these edges and you can see that i'm still inside the uh my like a dynamic subdivision level over here so you can see that it is uh there okay it's on and while i'm working on my uh edges here it will show me with the dynamic subdivision here okay so this is on you can see that let me uh, close this so actually that's on and what i will do here is that i will just uh, go to my edge here okay press spacebar and here i will use the crease and crease you can use either one edge you can crease one edge or you can uh crease edge loop partial not complete or edge loop complete okay so let's uh check and apply the crease on edge loop complete okay now if i will go back here and if i will press this you can see that the whole edge loop which was here is now creasing and this is giving me the same effect that it was giving me before okay so with this uh crease or with the z modeler crease it's giving me the same effect so if you want to add something here uh, manually so you can use the z modeler the brush and add it with that so let's do one more time here okay so i will just click here already you can see the crease and edge loop complete is there but what if i want only one on one edge so i can select one edge and click on that one edge okay and you can see now that effect is only on that one edge which usually you might not want so if you want to remove this you have to press alt on your keyboard and click on any crease that you have applied and that crease will be removed and if you want to add on the complete uh, edge loop just press spacebar go to crease go to edge loop complete and just click on any edge and it will apply on the whole but if you don't want it you can just press alt and remove it so one thing you might be noticing about this is that that creased edges are now perfectly sharp if you apply here okay and if i go to dynamic subdivision and let's even increase this up to five okay and just notice it's even increased this uh, uh, already have increased to five so uh, we can have more of uh, smoother result over here nice and smooth but still you can see everything that is creased is perfectly sharp so this is staying sharp over here so there's actually something that we can uh, do to affect that and this is uh, by setting crease level so let me do one thing let me undo this one here and go to just uh, increase this one back to five go to crease here and inside the crease you can see that we have this tolerance i will press this crease here 
and you know same as a result that we had before is now there so just notice we have here the crease level here so that crease level is actually at number uh, at 15 okay so if uh, we don't want this to be too sharp okay and if we want this to be a little bit uh, you know smoother so we can control that with the help of this crease level so let me uh, bring this down to something around level 3 okay and now you can see that it is becoming little sharper or oh, sorry smoother okay i'm still in my uh, z modeler brush so let me get out of the z modeler brush okay now let's do that again okay let me bring this back here now if i will move here uh, and move it somewhere here so you can see nicely and clearly because actually I'm zoomed in so I can not use the navigation options here so you can see what it is doing actually now sometimes what happens uh, this won't uh, be automatically over there you cannot see that so you have to sometimes turn off your dynamic subdivision okay so i will press shift d over here to turn it off and then i will turn it on back again so you can see that's basically what it is doing it's dividing the first three subdivision level of that dynamic subdivision with sharp edges but every subdivision level after that is uh, like dividing as if there was no crease there so this is what it do actually now there is a little uh, like a button over here this I, uh, circle spawn circle if i press this circle so and if i press shift d and d again so there is no such uh, you know uh, like effect change over here let me turn this back to one so i don't know what this do is that i never uh, got this option but you can see that what I'm doing here is that I'm turning this to zero. You can see that's completely smooth as there is no crease. But if I will go to one, so you can see it is smooth as well, and there is little bit crease there as well. Okay, two will become more sharper, three more sharper, and as if I go to 15, it will become sharp and sharp and sharp. So this is how you can control that. So I like when it is on level two, which is fine. If I will press shift and F, you can see it is uh smooth and at the same time it is sharp so i am quite happy with this let me zoom out from here and then you can see that or if i will turn uh, okay sorry it came back to two because i used the undo if i will go to three three also is good but i prefer having this kind of a uh, value here so you can see that nice smooth with a sharp edge over here so if you want to convert this into a real crease or anything you don't have to worry about this because this is not phantom this is real unlike dynamic subdivision this is not just a phantom it is actually applying over here so you can simply go to the dynamic subdivision and if you're satisfied with this you can just simply press apply and as soon you will do that it will become a real geometry and you can see that it's on level six so that's how you do it so okay creasing as you can see is a great way to clean up and sharpen up detail into your models without having to actually deal with a lot of geometry and editing the creases is easy because the models stay low poly. So I hope you have understood about everything which is related to crease. If you have liked my video, please click on the like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to it now. Also, I will really appreciate if you can share this video on your social media accounts with your friends. And it will give me boost up and I will get more subscribers which will motivate me automatically and I will create more and more content for you all. And I will be uploading a lot of different tutorials and short videos and long hour courses, complete courses, or some live sessions. 
so for that if you want to know when i'm uploading that click on the bell icon so you'll get all the notifications and uh, there are a lot of new things new concepts will be coming up i will be introducing hopefully in future some challenges with the prices you can get so guys uh stay tuned and thanks for your support and keep supporting my channel till the next lesson take care of yourself Thank you.